Hi, this is Sheila Pruitt from the Andover Public Library. I'm the program coordinator there, and I'm here to talk to you about a virtual program we did through the coronavirus. The program was called Who Killed Mr. Kelly? And it was a murder mystery whodunit. We provided 30 clues over 10 days. What we did is we broke those down into three clues a day for 10 business days. At the end of those clues, on the 11th day, we did a reveal. What we did is on the first day, we gave three clues and asked our patrons or our participants to converse amongst themselves. Now, the first day didn't get a lot of conversation because it was only the first three clues. And what we asked of our participants was five questions. One, who killed Mr. Kelly? Two, what was the weapon of choice for the murder? Three, what time was Mr. Kelly murdered? Four, where was Mr. Kelly murdered? And five, what was the motive? So these were the five questions that the participants were going to answer from the clues they were given. So over the course of 10 days, these 30 clues were going to give the participants the answers they were looking for, that we were looking for. So we, as the library, would give them every day at five o'clock. We found that five o'clock in the evening, people were more receptive to getting the clues. And we did this on Facebook because we found that most of our people had Facebook and we also had it on our website. So we wanted to try to attract as many people as possible. We found that we did very well through the views. We did very well through the participation. I do not have numbers for you and I apologize for that. But this was a, a really good success. We want to tell you about the how-to of this. We created an event. We posted to that event every single day at five o'clock. We found that even if people missed the clue on the first day or the second day, they could go back to the event and look at the missed clues. So even if they weren't there, let's say the second or the fifth day, they could go back and they could find the clue. And we wanted them to communicate in the comment section. We wanted them to work together and not necessarily independently, although they all did that. We found that through this virtual program of murder mystery, who done it, who killed Mr. Kelly, our patrons and our participants actually communicated. And we found that this type of program worked really well to keep our patrons and participants engaged. At the end of our program, on the 11th day, we got on there live with cue cards and pictures and we revealed the answers and it went really, really well. This was an extremely successful program. Once the program was completed, we asked everyone who participated, did you enjoy this? We got a resounding, yes, we did. We also said, is this something you would like to do again? And because it was online and it was a virtual, we got a yes. This type of program does not require people to leave their homes. It does not require them to go anywhere. It is a safe program. This is something that people can do in their home. They're not required to go at a specific time. They can do it at their leisure. So if this is something that you would be interested in doing at your library, I'm going to give you where we found it. It was found at http colon slash slash peterpappas.com and you want to click on first day of school. Here's how to get Here's how to get students thinking. Now, Peter Pappas is a high school history teacher. And his idea was when his students came in the first day, everybody's timid, 
nobody interacts, and there is very little conversation, especially if they don't know one another. So he would put this in a bowl, they would put on clues, and they would then have to interact. So I thought this would be a great adaptation for us to use on our social media platforms. And it worked very well. It was a very successful program. So if you are going to use this program, Who Killed Mr. Kelly, you are required to cite your source, again, and that is peterpappas.com. I want to thank you very much and let you know that this is a fantastic way to engage your patrons and to provide entertainment and to be able to look and see who is participating on what you are doing online. So again, my name is Sheila Privet. I am the program coordinator at Andover Public Library and I have enjoyed this program and many others, but thank you very much for tuning in.